Yes, that's correct, sir. Um, we're, we're actual, um, we're actual Bible-believing, born-again Christians. Yeah. I was a bad boy for 22 years. Yeah, me too. I'm a bad boy. Drink, soft drugs, and women. Soft drugs. Yeah. I ended that's up, what I I'm ended doing. up with 13 near-death experiences, three drink drives, banned off the road eight and a half years. My God. And barred from 22 pubs in uh, Midsummer Norton, Radstock, and Bath. That's no good. I'm now 21 years clean off all of that yeah. because of one prayer in my bedroom through Jesus Christ. Yeah. Do you ever think about the afterlife? Yeah, I do. What's your name, sir? Terry. Terry, nice to meet you. Hatchet. Nice to meet you. Fist pump. Yeah. Fist pump. Elbow. Elbow. Now, Terry. Yeah. Terry, what's your name? David. David. So I was just about to say. Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a good person? Um, not that... <coughs> Not that good, but not well, let's, too bad. Let's see if you're a good person okay. according to God's will. <coughs> not according to God's standard, what are you gonna not do? man's standard. What I'm going to do, do? witness to you, right? Yeah. His standard is the Ten Commandments. You've heard of the Ten, Ten Commandments. Commandments, yeah. yeah. Now, Shall not kill. Yeah. Right, let's, go, not commit let's go through three or four to see how well you'll do on that day. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not judging you, I broke all ten. Yeah. yeah. Well, hang on, David, what's this? Uh, this is a camera. I do YouTube videos, I do, and oh, I put, okay. I, and I got all walks of life I'm on, on I'm there. On You're on camera now, yeah. Well, hi. Uh, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, thank yeah, you. Fine. Now, the oh, name. What's your name? The name. The ninth commandment, we'll get there in a minute. Right, yeah, okay. The ninth commandment, Terry, is thou shalt not uh, bear false witness, thou shalt not lie. Have you ever told a lie in your life? Yeah. So have I. What do you call someone who lies, Terry? A liar. Thank you for being honest. The second one, the eighth commandment says, thou shalt not steal. I've, you, I, I've, I, stolen. I've done the same. I, call someone who steals. Uh, a robber. Or a thief. thief. That's it. Third one. Have you, we'll do four or five. Yeah. The th third one, have you ever took God's name in vain, OMG, in the name of Jesus yeah. Christ? I've done the same yeah, myself, right? I say Jesus Christ it's, all the time. That's right. Now, if I took your mum or dad's name, your brother or sister's name, your son or daughter's name, and I used it as a four-letter filth word to express disgust, you'd be oh, offended. that's no good. That's no good. But we took God's son's name and used yeah. it that way. It blasphemy. Yeah. Blasphemy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Two more. Yeah. Are you married? Yeah. No, I'm married as well. Yeah. Right, 11 years. But... My wife is the Japanese. Seventh, the seventh commandment says, yeah. thou should not commit adultery, yeah. right? Um, but Jesus say, uh, said that, you know, you've heard it said of them of old time, thou should not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looks upon a woman or a man to lust after them, sexual desire, yeah. has committed adultery with them already in his heart. Okay. Why? Why? Because he sees our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Okay. Yeah, he made the brain, he made the eyes. David, see. David, I see escorts in London. They're listen, a bit expensive. Listen, listen. No, I told my wife, yeah. and she said that's okay. She it's said, not. That's it's okay. not okay in God's eyes. Yeah. Isn't now, it? The last one. Yeah. The last one. Yeah. Right. The sixth commandment says, "Thou shall not kill. Thou shall not I've murder." Never, I've never killed. Him. That's what I thought. You can't get me there. I've never done that. But I was wrong again, Terry. Why? You, why? Because the thought life. One John three fifteen says this. Whosoever hates his brother has committed murder of the heart, and you know that no murder have eternal life abiding in him. So God sees the thought life. Now, Terry, thank you for your patience. But if you died today, right, and if, yeah. right, I'd and, be quite happy and if you went before God, David, I'd be quite happy to die today. But I'm looking forward to the if you, if you went before God today. Yeah. He would see you now as a lion, thief, and blasphemous adulterer and a murderer at heart. Yeah, that's not good, is it? If he judged you by all ten, would you be innocent or guilty, Terry? I'd be guilty. The same as me, the same as the rest of us. Yeah. Heaven or hell? You're a very honest guy, David. Heaven or hell? Well... Where does God put guilty people? I don't know. Hell? Hell. That's his eternal prison for people. I don't want to go to hell. Well, that's what I'm coming to in a wee minute. That's why I want to yeah. give you some good news in yeah. a minute. But pedophiles, rapists, murderers... He's going to put them in this eternal prison place called hell. If they do that to our family, we want justice. Yeah? Yeah. But he's not, going, smoke, to, he's, he's not going to stop there, smoke? no. He's going to go with the lion and the stealing and the murder. Oh, wait. He, he, the, the, he's, he's going to deal the, the lion stealing the small sins as well. David, I'm in a bit of a rush. Can Let me you give you some up? good news. Yeah, good yeah? news. Good yeah. news. Yeah, I like good news. How can God let guilty people like us into heaven and at the same time be a good righteous judge? Well, over 2,000 years ago, Terry, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to yeah. the cross. Yeah. This is Resurrection Sunday, it's as Easter. you know. Yeah. yeah. Resurrection Sunday. He, he resurrected. Now, when he was on the cross, yeah. he shed his precious blood as a perfect atoning sacrifice to save us from our sins. 
he was, he, we're sinners, he was without sin. Now it's hard for people to understand that, Terry, but let me make it easy for you, yeah, layman's yeah. terms. Yeah, make it easy. Here on earth, we broke the law, land, steal and murder. If you break one commandment, you're guilty of all ten. Nobody can keep the commandments, eight billion people. On that cross, Jesus Christ paid our fine. That means that when we stand before him in judgment day, instead of us going to hell, our case can be dismissed. You can walk into heaven free of charge, not because of anything we done, but because of everything he done for us. There's two things we must do to enter the kingdom of God. Number one, I done in my bedroom 21 years ago with tears coming down my eyes. I repented directly to God. I didn't sin against the priest. I didn't sin against religion. I sinned vertically against God. So it's got to be a vertical repentance. Only God can forgive. And the second thing we must do is to transfer our goodness from ourselves, stop trusting in our own good works to save us, and put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. The moment we do, God cannot lie. He says our sins will be remitted past, present, and future. A clean sheet, born again, a born new again. heart, a new heart and yeah. a new spirit called the Holy Spirit and from that day forth our place in heaven is prepared so that's good news Terry yeah. all I'm saying is before you put your head in the pillow tonight it takes two seconds to get right with your creator God be merciful to me I broke your commandments I lied I stole the blaspheme God, God be merciful to me a sinner forgive me please Lord Jesus be my Lord and Saviour and from that day forth your place in heaven is prepared read the word of God John chapter 3 yeah. Je Jesus is said in, here? in the Bible have you got a Bible? Yeah, I've got a Bible. Right. John, read the book of John, chapter every day. John. John, John, John chapter 3, Jesus said, yes. except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So it's crucial that we repent and put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone, not in people. People let us down. Religions can't save you. They divide you. Okay, it's only right, Jesus go. Christ. Listen, is it okay if I share this video on YouTube? Yeah, sure. That tells you why. My name is Terence Woolley. I'm going to be famous. Terry. I'm going to be a millionaire. Terry, well, here. There's a million pound now. <laughs> Have a lovely day, sir. Have a lovely That's day. Brilliant. And the message of the it's gospel. Charles. People love money. And One on, the, million. on the back is priceless. The gospel message. Is this really worth a million? It, 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 it's symbol. It's, it, it's showing that the gospel message. People love money, so I give them the gospel message on the back. And it's another ministry. David, this has been this, brilliant. It's been a good day. It's great to meet you. Good to see you, and thank You're you for a listening. Good man. I'm no one's good. You're gonna go no to one's heaven. good. It's you will definitely go to heaven. I, 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 but David, I, heaven isn't anywhere. Heaven is here on earth. No, it's not. Actually, oh. that's what a lot of people think. They think this is hell, and they think this no, is heaven. this is heaven. Heaven is the... When you look at the sky, yeah. if you jump up and down now, you're in the first heaven. Okay. Space is the second heaven, yeah. and God resides in the third heaven. Okay. Above. Okay. Read the word of God, and all your answers will be okay, answered. David, go to Have a lovely day. Yeah, happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Day. May the Lord be with you. And may you repent tonight and put your faith and trust in Jesus I'll, I'll Christ. Repent. And thank you, sir. Have a good day. Bye, David. Bye-bye for now.